my parents pretty much uh, were artists. Uh, my uh, mom is a painter, and um, um, my dad was an accountant, but he was playing guitar as a hobby. Uh, so, uh, and when I heard him play, uh, I think I was about 10 years old, and um, I was sitting at the uh, dinner table, and I heard him in the bedroom, and I heard this song uh, by Ray Charles, um, What I Say. And suddenly I was like, something just like grabbed me inside my stomach. I was like, whoa, you know, I, I want to feel just like that for the rest of my life. And at that point, you know, I knew this is what I was going to do. I was going to play guitar and uh, hopefully make people feel like I was fitting at that time. First time I, uh, I think, discovered Carvin um, was when a friend of mine uh, was uh, managing a, a big store in Hollywood. And uh, one day he called me up and he said, um, hey, you know, Wolf, uh, I know you, you know, constantly searching for that tone. I've got a, a new amp there and it's, you got to check it out. So I came down the shop and um, saw this amp. He said, oh, that's the amp. I'm like, oh, Carvin. So I was like, oh, okay. Plugged it in, you know, cranked it up. And I was like, oh, wow, interesting. Um, that amp had a really clear and defined tone. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking, wow, okay. Um, so I bought it, you know, and plus it, was, it gave me a fantastic deal. I bought it, took it to the studio, uh, started playing with the band. And you know what? Not only this amp had a great tone, but somehow playing with a drum and a bass player, the tone kind of sneaked in between all of that. And you, you, could, really, you could really hear the, the tone coming out. You know, sometimes you play with amps and it's kind of, you know, blending with the bass frequency or other things, but that amp was just able to just, you know, break through and it was nice, clear and defined tones. You know what? I should probably send you a picture of my amp. The barely I've got, I, st I still have that one I bought like 15 years ago. I mean, it doesn't look too good, but it still works fantastic. I mean, I've taken that amp like everywhere around the world, pretty much. And uh, you know what? The frame... Got busted a couple of times, fixed it. Um, the transformer in the back, you know, was broken because the thing fell out, you know, it's still working. Just replaced the tube and boom, it was working fine. Um, one time in Canada, um, one of my roadie plugged in, I don't know what he did, but literally caught on fire. And next day we took it up to a shop, the guy fixed it, the amp was working again, you know what I mean? So this thing is just like, you know, I won't die, you know, it's great. <laughs> I think the miracle with this uh, particular amp was that it was used when I bought it. So I took it through hell and back, an amp that was used in the first place and still delivered. There is definitely a lot, lot of amps out there um, that uh, are available for blues players. Uh, now, why carving? Well, uh, the main reason is that the, with that particular amp, the Bel Air, I can get a bass response that I do not get with other amps. Somehow, with the other amps, the sound is somehow always compressed, and you don't have that well-defined and and I would say um, clear uh, response. With a Bel Air, you plug that thing in and you hear the bass, the mids, the highs, and it's just like straight out of the guitar, you know, and it's, it's, it's clear and it's defined. And you know what, I, I just I haven't found, you know, uh, that type of, of sound without the amps, you know. <laughs>
a lot of time people will come up to me and say, man, what's, what are you playing, you know? Uh, particularly in places like Australia where it's not yet uh, that well known, and like, wow, can I get one like this, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I do get a lot of compliments on that one, that's for sure. This particular amp, the sound that you get at the price you get it, I mean, there's really no, comp to me in my book, no competition out there for that, you know, and uh, I highly recommend it. Well, here we are in the studios, uh, Doghouse Studios in Burbank, and um, this is what we've got today uh, for the session. Um, we've got the Nomad um, amps here, the Bel Air, and the uh, Vent 16 up here, um, and also a uh, version of the Bel Air, but separate with a head and a cabinet. I've got pretty much three uh, set up I use. One is a clear channel, clear sound. Um, second one is a rhythm sound. And uh, the third one is a lead sound. So pretty much the rhythm sound. This is a song from my uh, second album, Blue Fix. It's called Blue Rose. This is the rhythm sound that I kind of use, but like. Now this is the clear sound that I use, a clear tone. Uh, it's got no pedals, nothing, straight into the amp. And it's got a really nice bass response and very defined sound. And that, and see. Anyway, this is uh, now the sound that I use for uh, uh, solos. It's got a more of the uh, attack and overdrive to it. Really, more the brown sound. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's good for solos in that one. Right? 